perspective closed in our recent articles here as i mentioned right at the end of the last video we actually have two columns oh my goodness that complicates matters now doesn't it so i'm going to come in here and create two divs one for each column div close div but this first column here is going to have a class on it of article recent main and i'm going to give this one a class is equal to article recent secondary um, so it's like my main content and the secondary content of my article now if you don't really like those names i maybe could come up with a better name for them a lot of people don't like the idea that i'm repeating article recent um, I don't like the idea of just using main and secondary because maybe I, you have a main and I have a secondary for something else too that are just completely different. Could you, instead of doing it this way, have an article recent and then use a descendant selector, your compound selector to say like article recent main space main and article recent space secondary? Yes, you 100% could. But again, I like trying to avoid those descendant or those compound selectors when I can. So I'm going to use my main and my secondary on this. It does create a long class name to have to write when we get to our CSS, but it does also make my CSS really easy to read and understand when I'm working in it. Um, so I do like that, even if it does mean being a little bit more verbose. The main content here, this is where I'm going to have my H2, which can have the same class as I have here. Sometimes a featured article will have a different like font settings, but right now it's the same font size, the same font color, the same font, everything. If these two different articles had different font sizes, I'd be looking at this in a completely different way. I'd be giving this one like featured article title and this one recent article title or something like that. It's the same. They're both the exact same styles on them. I'm going to stick with the same class because I think that makes a lot of sense. Inside of there, I also have my body and I also have the continued reading. So you know what? We can copy all this and paste it in here. And exactly like before, these have the exact same styling on it as they do up here. So we can keep the same class names once we've styled it once, we've styled the whole thing. The main difference between our featured article and this one is just the structure of them is a little bit different. So we can have the two columns in one, whereas the other one doesn't have the two columns in it. These two, I can grab and I can throw in this secondary over here because they really are secondary, um, secondary information. And now that I have one of those built, well, I can just copy that whole thing and paste it right here. There's all the structure of that. In the next video, I'll take a look at the assignment.